now that we have all the slugs available for each markdown file, let's do some navigation to the files. So over here we uh, can use the link provided uh, sorry, uh, by Gatsby. Let me read here everything, yes. And what we can do over here is we start using this component and now we can go to the node slug. Yes. And we also need to use it um, to get the, fi the, um, the slug from the query. So it's going to be inside fields slug. Fields slug. Let's see if everything is still working. Okay. Let's check. Okay, we got undefined. That. Ah, okay. It seems that we are not uh, getting this lag because we need to say fields. Let me refresh just in case. And um, yes, more or less it's working. Now it's trying to navigate to the markdown file. In this case, this is preparing for, for, uh, for a tech, tech talk. Then this other post, and um, let's check the third one. Okay, yes, right, everything's working. That's uh, from the UI perspective. But now, somehow we need to implement a component which uh, it's used as a, as a template for each post and we need to inject the data of each, comp of each post in this new template component. So let's try to build that. Through the API we need to create different pages for each of the markdown files. For doing that the API well, gives us the following function which is uh, create pages create pages this is going to receive uh, the, the graph uh, ql and also the actions once we have that we we also need uh, a specific function for creating the pages which is of course create page that we get from actions. And now, through GraphQL, we need to query the file system and we need to create one page for each of the files. So for doing that, we need to return GraphQL. Okay, now the results that we are going to have over after the query is resolved, it's more or less going to be this object that we have over here. And then that will allow us to iterate over the edges, edges and then we can create uh, one page for each of the uh, objects. So this returns an object with the prop data. Um, Yes, inside here we can say data, uh, let me copy the prop, all markdown remark edges for each and for each of the uh, objects we, need, we get the node. And over here we have to use the function create page. This uh, create page function will receive the context. The context uh, it's going to be available into our template that we are going to create. So over there we are going to provide to our context the slug because then our template we it's going to uh, query um, the file system using this slug. And in that way, it's going to get the data for that uh, specific file. That's the, the whole idea. 
So once again, we need to get inside the node fields a slug. But that's not enough. We let me check the documentation, but I guess we also need we need the path and a component. Okay, so the path is where um, how to access to this this page, and it's actually once again the uh, the slide because it's working as our URL identifier. And the second parameter is the component. And this component is the template. I I already create uh, a template over here. It's not that fancy. It's just something for testing. So to get, we don't need the reference to the template. We actually need the file. So over here we. Uh, yeah, let's put template file. We can do it through the path dot resolve, and it's a uh, place in source templates uh, blog post dot js, and then we can use it in the component property, and that should be everything. Let me check oh this is not over here so we need the path from require path and let me print here our file I guess everything should be working let me restart the environment yes Let's see what is happening. We go to, uh, to our index file now. Yes. Yes, that's nice. We navigate to our uh, slug, to the specific slug of our markdown file, and we are getting data of our template. So now, in the next video, we are going to fill the data of this markdown.